Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different guys. I want to go back and take a look at Modern Warfare Zombies as a whole and go over some things about the mode that I liked and some things about the mode that I didn't like. Modern Warfare Zombies Treyarch really tried to do something special with the mode with very little resources and time which kind of resulted in something that was expected but other outcomes really not so much. This might be a bit of a longer one today so be sure to grab a snack and a beverage and let's get into this. Welcome back to the channel everybody if y'all don't know my name is Ghost. Appreciate everybody who stops by the video today. If you're into zombies content or anything Call of Duty rock the hell out of that like button for me and subscribe to the channel guys getting so close to 23,000 subscribers and I cannot thank you guys enough for all the crazy love and support lately it honestly truly does mean the world to me over the last few Call of Duty titles it's been pretty obvious that the higher-ups are finally starting to realize that zombies is actually a very vital part of Call of Duty that holds a giant part of their fan base it's really no longer just this little side mode that might be there and it might not the Call of Duty title releases without a zombie mode they know that they're leaving out a huge core chunk of their audience at this point it's also pretty obvious that no other studio does it better than Treyarch. The fans have made that very clear and it just stands out with their gameplay. So instead of making the other studios develop a zombie mode on their own, they've just been having Treyarch do it as part of their marketing to get their fans in, even if it's something that's like Vanguard. To be clear, the team that's actually working on these zombie modes for Sledgehammer Games is not Treyarch's A team, these are actually their B team developers. Now this doesn't mean that they're bad at what they do, actually not at all, but it does unfortunately factually mean that we aren't going to be getting the best of what the Treyarch team can produce and what they've been known for. Now with all this in mind, at the same time as are in the development process for Black Ops 6, Treyarch has been tasked with making an entirely new zombie mode for Modern Warfare 3 and Sledgehammer games. Without the time that would be needed and the resources to make new maps specifically for zombies, they had to come up with a new way of implementing the mode while keeping some of the things traditional, like the perks, the wonder weapons, pack-a-punch, and easter eggs, things that zombie players are going to be used to, but implemented in a whole new style of mode entirely. Treyarch has really been toying with this different version of zombies for quite a few years now. It all really kind of started with Outbreak when they started trying the whole open world thing and then we got Vanguard which really tried some new systems but fundamentally still fell into the category of more of an open world zombies. Yes, the map was definitely smaller but it still definitely served as a main like hub world with different rifts and the rifts were essentially just contracts. Well, if you really think about it it was just a more condensed smaller version of like Modern Warfare Zombies or Morley Outbreak. But I really think with Modern Warfare Zombies they finally got to the closest vision that they've wanted yet that really didn't follow the traditional zombies formula. While I thought the outbreak was really fun, the maps were just way too big and kind of empty, and once you completed the easter eggs, there really wasn't any reason for you to return. Modern Warfare Zombies tried to fix a lot of these issues by giving you, you know, smaller contracts, but a lot more of them just spread out all over the map. This does unfortunately lead to a couple of issues that we will get to later, but the time that the player spends in the map can now be used up by actually completing contracts instead of just kind of wandering around. It also leads us to the time limit, which is in Modern Warfare Zombies, and I know a lot of players really hated this and thinks that it sucks but it's actually kind of essential to the mode and how it works and how it's tied to the schematics. The whole point of Modern Warfare Zombies is to infiltrate a huge area, collect rare loot, try to collect all the schematics that you can in the game, and try to successfully extract with them. The more and more loot that you get, the more and more schematics that you get, the easier that the game is going to get because you can actually use these really OP items at your leisure. Which is another thing that's not Zombies traditional, but who doesn't want to start a match fully upgraded, especially when you know that you're going to take on really difficult things like Elder Dark Ethers or even bosses. It's Modern Warfare Zombies is played on our biggest play space in Zombies yet, which is going to be taking place on the Warzone map. It's also the first time that we can play Zombies with up to 24 people at the same time. Now, I know that there's a lot of zombie players out there that prefer to play solo, I'm definitely one of those players. This is something that can be very cool and make for certain scenarios that honestly I will never forget. Taking on the Red Worm boss fight with the entire lobby, everyone was running around talking, driving bikes and trucks around, doing donuts and blasting music, it was like they were having their own party. Just having just everybody there to defeat the red worm almost instantly was just so freaking awesome I can barely even explain it. Yes we did actually have the whole lobby there we had 23 people we were minus one person I actually saw him go to the exfil but I counted the rest of them we had 23 people there. You can also squad up into squads of parties of six to get things done really easily like red zone contracts or going into the dark ethers or attempting to do it all solo it's really just up to you. With all this being said though having this many players on the map has led to a bit of a conflict I mean especially for those that are in the later game of Modern Warfare Zombies. Trying to grind contracts inside of the red zone can definitely get tiring. I mean, the red zone is really small and there's not a lot of contracts that like to spawn out there. So it just became a giant race to get to the contracts that do spawn and some games can be really difficult when you just got multiple people that are just scorching around with scorchers stealing them all. Now that Modern Warfare Zombies is towards the end of its life cycle, most people are at that end game and the red zone is always overrun with players almost every single game. It just, it kind of gets annoying. This is definitely an issue that 
I think could have been solved if this game just got a little bit more support, maybe expanding the red zone a bit. But the second tier zone is the biggest on the map, and I don't think that we would have complained if we lost a little bit of it to make room for some more red zone content. Could have even found a way to tie it into the story, it would have been really easy. Just say like the containment levels are spreading a little bit or something like that. The launch of Modern Warfare Zombies was just so hype, guys, and unfortunately it really seems like the post-launch content just kind of dove off a cliff. I think in Modern Warfare Zombies really just felt pre-planned and made from the go, with, you know, the only real new content that we were getting was just kind of quality of life stuff. Most traditional zombie fans didn't like the mode, but some decided to finally give it a chance. More importantly, I think it grew its own fan base that absolutely adores Modern Warfare Zombies. This is something that I think all other versions of zombies that have been attempted have failed at. They can tout this mode as a failure all they want, but the millions of views from myself and other creators that have been covering this mode throughout the year, I think really says otherwise. These aren't hate views either. These are genuine people that really want to know more about the mode and that actually love playing it. This is something that Vanguard or even Outbreak couldn't even do that. I also know that this is something that a lot of people aren't really going to want to hear, but open world games are amongst the most popular in the world right now. It's a huge selling factor for a lot of people. You got extraction shooters that have been on the rise recently. Battle Royale has kind of been at the forefront of like multiplayer gaming for a few years now. I know that this is completely different, but not really when you look at the grand scheme of things. Even if you compare it to something like GTA, GTA is an open world game and one of the things that people love about it is that they can kind of do whatever they want. But you can really kind of apply that same logic to Modern Warfare Zombies. Whenever zombie players load in here, they can kind of go off and do whatever they want. They're not forced into completing the main easter egg for that map. They can complete whatever easter egg they want. They can complete just their contracts. They can go in there and camo grind. Being on an open map and just being able to do kind of almost whatever you want, in a sense, is a huge for a lot of people. With the time that they spend inside the map is fun is going to be the key to the mode success. I'm not saying that I think traditional zombies should change or go away. I think that the dedicated maps and round base and all of that should definitely stay, but what I am saying is I think that there is room for another zombie mode in the same, you know, universe to be successful. Even if it's not from Treyarch or in a Treyarch game. I really think if Activision was smart, they would actually make Modern Warfare Zombies the dedicated zombie mode for the Modern Warfare games going forward, at least for a year or two and see how it goes. It let the Treyarch A team handle the round base maps while the B team works on the next Modern Warfare Zombies, or they could actually just teach some things to the other studios and let it handle them themselves. Wait, we're not taking any resources away from what Treyarch's trying to cook up. We think that Black Ops 6 is looking pretty good now, just imagine if they were actually able to have both of their teams working on the same project at the same time. We also know that Sledgehammer and Infinity Ward are perfectly capable of making their own zombie modes. May they not be the best over the years, but I think learning from Treyarch, they could finally make something that might be competent. Modern Warfare Zombies is such a good starting ground for something for them to build on. I think myself plus so many others were really hoping for a lot more with this game. I mean, the potential for it was just so crazy high. Imagine if we got world events happening like they have in, let's say, Diablo 4, like special bosses that would appear, maybe just different events with special enemies. Like, the Red Worm fight was so cool when they brought that in in Season 1. Not only was it hidden and it was like a whole Easter egg that we had to figure out just to even set the fight up. The fight itself was just so cinematic and intense. Now, just imagine if they kept doing things like that throughout the seasons instead of giving us just ether rifts with reused assets from Almazra. Don't get me wrong, I really do like the Dark Ethers and I'm glad that we got them, but just imagine if we started getting all that other stuff as well. One of the other things I wanted to talk about as I think was one of Modern Warfare Zombies' biggest missteps, and I think it was with the Warlords. Not only do I speak for myself, but probably everyone else as well, we don't really want to kill regular people in our zombie game. Especially when those people are going to be shooting back at you. Like, I want to shoot zombies and monsters and demons or aliens. I really wanted to fight people I'd go play multiplayer or Warzone. I'm here to fight the otherworldly, not to fight things that I can see out my real life window. I think the smarter thing that they could have done would have been to replace the warlords with zombie bosses, kind of like how they did in Blackout with like the Blightfather being at the cemetery. They could have done the same exact thing in Modern Warfare Zombies and just given certain zombie bosses their own areas on the map. I think that would have been something that would have been way cooler and a lot more players would have been attempting to get these things done all the time just because these types of enemies are funner to fight. Is that a word, funner? Ultimately, I hardly ever wanted to fight these warlords and I really don't think many other people did either. I know more people started doing it once the Wonder Weapon case was guaranteed from beating them, but still really not too worth it. I know that this might be kind of a strange one, but one of my favorite things about Modern Warfare Zombies was actually the fact that a lot of larger zombie creators didn't really either vibe with the mode, so they didn't really make content on it, but they made very little content on it whenever the updates would drop just because I kind of think they felt they had 
add to just because it's a zombie mode. This was actually a really great thing for myself and I know many other up and coming content creators because it actually gave our videos a chance to be seen and a chance to breathe. Because in a case where every single creator in the zombie space is going to be farming daily videos, it's going to be a lot harder to get growth and to be seen. For instance, I know that this isn't uh, going to apply to all of you. Let's just say we got a brand new round base map out and on that day I release a how to build the new wonder weapon guide. But yet again, so does Mr. Waffle Waffles, so does Dalek JD, so does Noah, so does all the big guys. We all end up dropping on that same exact day because we want our videos out as soon as possible. Well, it's more than likely kind of a GG for my video. I know that that's not going to be the case all the time. There's going to be some people that maybe they just vibe with me or the way that I do things and then they will watch my video, but the large majority of people, we kind of have the same fan bases. If we're dropping relatively the same video on the same day, uh, people are more than likely going to be clicking on the guy with a couple million subscribers that's been doing this for 10 plus years. But it's kind of understandable, that's just going to be the way of things. Like I did mention earlier, I think that Modern Warfare Zombies really did grow its own fan base, which is something that Call of Duty hasn't seen since Zombies was originally introduced. A lot of those people were wanting content. This time, the big guys really aren't farming out the daily videos, so they have people like myself, Donuts, Spazo, Earl Shatter, Oversized Gilly, Crazy Shoot, just to name a few. All of these creators have put out thousands of hours of content on this game for everyone, and their support that we have all seen has just been absolutely nothing short of amazing. Actually, like we're witnessing the new era of zombie YouTubers glow up, and I think a lot of us owe a big part of that to Modern Warfare Zombies. I know that during this game mode, my life has changed a lot, and I'm pretty sure a lot of these guys' lives have as well. But the others really didn't see and have the confidence that this would succeed. We knew that there was still a demand for content, and we were honestly right. Modern Warfare Zombies is far from perfect. I think that there are things that they got right, while other things not so much. For all, though, the story was really interesting, and it kept me engaged. The gameplay loop is actually really addicting, even towards the end game. Though it has some issues here and there, I still enjoy like farming dark ethers and doing like the red worm fight. It's just, it's just fun to me. I really hope that Treyarch and the other teams take what they have learned from Modern Warfare Zombies and give us an even better, more fleshed out version of this mode in future titles that doesn't really suffer from the lack of post-launch support. With Black Ops 6 on the horizon, that will shortly be the main focus here on the channel because being a zombies channel, we gotta keep with the times, but I can absolutely not wait to jump back into Modern Warfare Zombies once the full potential for this mode is actually realized. I think that is going to be about it, guys. I'm gonna wrap up the video here. If you made it this far in the video, you guys are absolute legends. Let me know down in the comments section what you guys think about Modern Warfare Zombies. Maybe if you'd like to see them take another shot at this in the future, I'd love to know. But with that, thank you everybody for taking the time. If you did enjoy the video, please do me the biggest favor in the world and drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if anybody is new. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will catch you in the next one.